It's Ren Antonovich on a very hot day here in Providence at Nostalgia. Um, today we're talking about compacts and carryalls. It was popular um, when women started taking uh, separate bags with them to places to also bring their makeup with them. And in the 1920s when my makeup became popular, uh, a compact such as this would have been very popular. It would have been either 20s or 30s because this is an Art Deco geometric pattern. And when you open it, you find that it had makeup in it and the makeup is still there. Rouge and powders and a little place for your lipstick. And I have another one that's from the same period, a little bit smaller, it almost looks like a matchbox. And this one doesn't have as much in it. This is for just plain powder to powder your nose when you go to the powder room, for example. So that's another Art Deco piece from the 20s or 30s. And then we move on up. Um, in the 50s, they started to change a little bit in terms of um, materials used in add-ons such as rhinestones. This is a 1950s compact. This is Volupte, it's V-O-L-U-P-T-E, a uh, very popular compact from the period. And when I open it up, there's a little Volupte powder puff and no powder in it. So this one was never used, apparently. But beautiful, beautiful design on that one. Um, this is another small one. This is by Evans, which is another uh, popular compact company and beauty company. And this is the powder puff, but this has, this was never used either. This is called tap sift technology here. Um, so when I take off this little cardboard, what happens, you put the powder in and you put your pad in and this goes down like that. So it just brings out just enough powder. So not too much will go on the the powder puff for you and get it all over the place. I've been there before myself. And then last but not least, I have two uh, carryalls, which what they call it that because it is a sort of a handbag and uh, beauty essentials in one place. Um, so the lady would only need to carry this. Now today it would be a little tough because we have cell phones and this would, would not be big enough to fit the cell phone plus everything else a lady would carry. Um, but when you open this up, there's a lovely mirror and when you open that up, there you can put your cigarettes or money or whatever you'd like in that bigger space. This would have been for a tube of lipstick, which is not there anymore. It's not there. A lady probably would have added her own. Um, and then a little cute little purse probably for change or again, some type of money. And then when you open this, I can do it. And there you are with your powder puff and where you would have put your powder. So this one doesn't look like it was used either. And if it had been, they took very good care of it. This is mother of pearl. So this is an actual um, piece from the 50s. And then this last piece also from the 1950s is really cool because it has the lipstick on the outside. Now you would put your own in there. There's nothing in there. So you'd have to actually add a tube yourself of the lipstick in here, which they would have done back then. And then when you open it here, unfortunately, I cracked the mirror. Um, but don't look at that. <laughs> we'll just look at the beautiful uh, makeup that's still here. This was never used for sure. There's a pristine powder puff and rouge, which is blush as we know it today, still with its original lettering on it. So no one ever used that. And then this little piece right here, this would have been for, whoops, there goes another piece of mirror. Oh, well. This would have been um, for creams or maybe a cream rouge if they wanted to do that. Again, a little lipstick holder. And in here, there's your powder. And that has a screen. So again, it's a sifting format for powder as well for a lady. But that's not all. When you open the other side, there's for your cigarettes. And as you can see, it wasn't used because they were still showing you what would go in here. Back then, the cigarettes weren't filtered, so they were shorter. So you couldn't fit a Virginia Slims in that. It would be too long. But that's your little cigarette holder. So that lady didn't need anything else when she went out but this little compact. So um, beauty is kind of a thing with me. I just love the vintage ads and the vintage 
uh, pieces that we can still find, especially if there's still cosmetics in them. So hope you enjoyed today's talk on vintage beauty items and compacts. Thank you, have a great day.